making great progress. We had video seven. So now we're just going to add a staff member. So if you go to the top menu, click staff, uh, you see a list of the staff you already have in the system. If you don't have any staff, obviously you'll see yourself. So the first thing I'd like you to do is click on your name. And if you are an instructor, that means if you plan to teach at your own studio, make sure you click instructor and then click on the image logo. Click on that and upload a picture of yourself. So that this is great. And the other thing you want to do is go to the public profile and add a bio, some sort of bio information here. If your public profile is blank, um, your picture, uh, your bio will not show on your website if you embed uh, your instructor's bio on your website using CommaSoft embedded code. So it's important to make sure that you have a little bit of description for yourself uh, and also for all your uh, teachers if you want them embedded on your website. So to add an instructor, let's just go back, um, click plus new, and I'm, I'm going to put my friend Heather here. Uh, last name is books okay and email obviously not her real email and yes she's an instructor so I'm clicking the box instructor I want her available to teach both classes and workshop okay and I am going to assign her the front desk permission, which is the lowest permission you could give someone. And it's the best permission you should give people that's working at the front desk, your instructors, and so on. Uh, if you don't want people to have permission, just click none. But I'm going to give her front desk permission so she could log in, check in her own class, and so on. And basically, that's all you need to do. Everything else is extra. You could go ahead and put name, address, phone number all the other stuff. So once you have that, the last thing you want to do is go ahead and upload a picture. So we, we are going to first save this and then click on the image next to her name uh, and then we're going to select that image from our front desk. So on our desktop, I think I have an image. Uh, we're going to upload. All right, so you may get a warning about image size, right? Uh, we'd like the image to be about 320 by 320 so on if it's a little bit bigger we're going to try to import it anyway it just might take a little longer click update and normally it doesn't take that long so there we go you may see an indication like a red flag next to an email that, that just means in our opinion it's not a valid email or we think the email is going to bounce or whatever so I made this email up so if you see that um, maybe it's probably an indication for you to change the email address to a more valid email address. So that's it. We added an instructor and we are ready to go. Namaste. Talk to you soon.